and mind. I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? She looks high as hell. I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. She had depression? Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. Um, I don't know if that's such a good idea. All right, at least she's got the window down, so we will suffocate. That's an old station wagon. My wow, sensitivity is like crazy. Can I, can I run? Anything? No. Atlantic Island Park. Bingo! And drink. Attention patrons, the park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees prepare wow. the park for shutdown. It's just now shutting down? Look at this parking lot, it's like damn near empty. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Okay, so that's son. Her son. So they sh share the same birthday. They, they, they share it. <laughs> Alright, so the workers still- whoa! What? I think and she is so go. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. And think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Now, wouldn't. Like. He go in with me? I mean, they just closing time, and they're just letting me. Go. Okay. So I'm only just a couple minutes in the game. Callum, I told you to wait in the car. Over here. I think I already got it figured out. Something happened with their son here. He died or something, and. She's just coming back, trying to cure the memory, I guess. And she just keeps coming back. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. So I don't know if what I said made sense, but she should be running up there and grabbing him right now. What is her deal? Alright, creepy laughter in the background. That's always nice. There, now I can run. It's easy to get lost here. I'm tired of that walking shit. Do I got a flashlight? I need a flashlight, it's too dark. Can I go over here? Is anybody home? 
Oh, yes, I can. You are grounded if you do not get back here right now. I mean it. I mean it. Okay, I give up. You win. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, he went running that way. Carrie Killian is Satan's whore. Damn. I guess that would be me, huh? Should I go in here? Let's go in here. To the mouth of evil. Too dark. I'm not going in there without a flashlight. True that. True that. Why is everything shaking? I think this girl crazy. Is he still over here? Where's he at? Where are you? The boy, I can't remember your name, but it's my son. Okay, there's something on the ground here. It's nothing. Oh. Exam Uh-oh. I think this belongs to Calum. He lost his shoe. He ran so fast, he ran out of his shoe. He's so fast. I'm trying to examine it. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Wait a minute. Chad the chipmunk worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die a useless slop. Damn. A little harsh. Don't you think? Eh, I could use the bathroom, I guess. Okay, maybe not. I wonder what this is. Alright, so if anybody wants to read this, they can pause it right now. But, I'm gonna move on. Okay. Huh? Callum, stay where you are. Come back. Where are you? Do I get on this? Come I'm gonna on, get on. Mommy. What? Wait, Callum. Am I getting on the the love dove? Ah, here we go. This probably isn't gonna be good. I don't think I'm gonna find love on the love dove. Granted, that one's wrecked. That that couple got a divorce. That was the meaning of that one. And his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. Gretel. Yep. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. Okay, this definitely isn't a love dove. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband, we will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and Whoa. abandon them there. No, my wife, I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hmm. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets.
More, more. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. And then? After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Uh, um. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Three days. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly <coughs> strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Yummy. I do know this story. Little mouse, who is nibbling at my house? An old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back. For the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children still licking their sweets, followed. Oh! Once inside the house, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Okay, Time passed, my boat. and poor Hansel <clears throat> refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool, the old witch said. The opening is here. And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove. And the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. Finn. And then, because oh. even children can't survive on sweets, 
Whoa. They divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. Wow. That part I did not know. I knew all the way up to the part where the oven... Or the, <laughs> where the oven... Where the witch goes in the oven, but... Hmm. Um... What? Hi. Um... Yeah, let's look forward so we don't wreck. What the hell? I'll, uh... I, I kind of went off this ride now. That was a little creepy. Okay, can I... Um... Thank you, Mr. Swan. Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest, the birds, the old witch, even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy. Looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Nothing going on up here? Another accident. This place. Another accident? Hmm. Whoa. There's a teddy with a knife in its eye and blood. What kind of freaking park is this? This is crazy. Where are you, Calum? <laughs> what? I just heard him. I know I just heard him. I'm gonna go over here first if I can. Just to see if there's any hidden secret something. I don't look like it. Alright, well. Looks like we're going on a ride. It's called an octopus. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It used to make me dizzy. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. Ah, oh, okay, there's another... Damn, that's a big Ferris wheel. There's another way that way. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa. 
Alright, so I can't go that way. I guess I should kind of take the time to read those, but... I can't get on while it's moving. Okay, let's stop it. I always wanted to be a carny. <laughs> Not really. Okay. Yeah, forget my son. I just want to ride rides. Um, I think we're speeding up. Okay, obviously she's got a problem riding rides. Oh my god. Is that the witch? Hey, don't get on rides if you can handle it. Don't do it. What am I stuck on? A Polaroid. Oh, I remember this. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered. And as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Whoa, there's somebody back there. <gasps> oh, holy shit. <coughs> Excuse me, I need a drink too. That scared me. You still there? What the? F Is there a way in there? That's the last thing I should be doing right now. I'm trying to go in there. Hmm. <laughs> All right, that made me jump. Cars. Constant what? crashes and 80s music. I guess it floats someone's boat. Can we go in? We can go in. gonna start coming at me. Right, 
That one's got its lights on. Accident report. Ooh, this one's crushed. Oh! Yes. Um. Okay, I take I'm going this way. Okay, we'll go up here. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead, my mouth said, yes, Sheriff. Wow, she really despises her kid. Ah, another uh, note. I'll read those probably later. Right now. I just want to get on. I don't like reading in games for some reason. Just, especially like long, long ones. Long notes and stuff. I kind of skipped them in Outlast too. Oh my gosh, the turning sometimes is just... There we go. So they are going to close this place down. Doesn't surprise me. I wonder if her son died here. This is just like, a, or they both did, and she's just like trapped here. I don't know, I got a few different theories here. Here we go. I don't feel very safe. There's nothing to lock me in here. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. Oh. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. 
fairy tale fucking over. She's blaming him, her son, wow. Something's gonna happen right here. I know it. Yep, there he is. You know what? Let's go to speed this up. Let's see what happens. Okay, it is going fast, that's it. Okay, down the road we go. Yeah, it's loud. I should be pleased to. Roller coaster ticket? Whoa! Oh god. Can't run. Okay. Can A run lot down. of people idolize their children. Nope. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them, little life-sucking yeah. monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> we all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's wow. called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Holy shit. That is pretty harsh. I always wanted to write this one. Never got around to do it before. Because you're sad? Is that why? Damn. She's like harsh. Like hardcore. What is this? What do you want? We need to talk about Callum. What? What do you mean? <gasps> oh! What have you done to him? I? That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell huh. me where my son is. The witch has, cares. Now, has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... just leave me alone. Fool. You always were.
on. Maybe we should. I, in a sense, like you have to care to an extent. I don't know. This is this is crazy. Hey, finally got that flashlight. The witch awaits. Okay, how do I use my flashlight? Callum, Callum, Calamari. What about oh? Callum has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks, but he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. Mm. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. Ooh. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. They are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can't save him. There will be pain. But I love him, and in the end, he will understand why. Yeah. She's abusing him, I think. Oh, I can't go up there. Okay. Back this way. Pretty much set on a path here. I'm not really finding it scary, it's just messed up. Okay. something okay something's going on over here Teddy bear. What? I'm sure I can't. Okay. What? Whack a jack. Gold punks. Okay, what, what's going on here? What am I not seeing? Ah. The whole town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Steps. There's blood on there. Um. Poor bastard. Who did this to him? Squirrel. 
how the thing was moving. Something's gotta be going on in the middle. It has to. Wait a minute, there's something. Take pills. Uh, I'm, on, I'm on meds. These are mine. Yeah? Is that the father's name and a heart on her wrist? Oh. Turn around. I tell you, bears. Can I Don't touch me. Should read those. Okay, what's uh she cuts herself too? Maybe. Same spot. Okay, is this the, the way park I'm is to... a collage of contradictions yeah. all of its own? Millions of people die every year in car crashes, and the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here, the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised a toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. So I think that's the... That's the entrance. I think. Yes. Into the mouth of madness. Ooh, 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 ha, ha, ha. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Lights. Okay, this is uh, pretty dark. You 
stay still, Mr. Squirrel. Leave me alone. Whoa. Said something. I would wake up as a little kid in the middle of the night and catch my image and reflection. <laughs> <sighs> it's not funny. I was, I was having a moment there. It's, it's not funny. It's not funny at all. What are you looking at? Can I do something with it? Oh, it's like a fun house. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to look in that mirror. Do, 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 do. It's like a werewolf or something. In I like a werewolf. I love werewolves. You, you stay there, though. You're pretty big. Squirrel. Hmm. with me. It's talking to me. It's only shut up. It's not even doing nothing. Do I? There's a part back here, though. Which way do I go? some electrified shit. Alright, so it's just an empty room. Oh. Noth a nothing room. We meet again. <laughs> if I had the controls where I could hit and punch, I would be jacking you right in the jaw right now. Wait a minute. Did I just do a circle? Hi. <laughs> Stop it! It's not funny. It's not funny at all. <laughs> Hello? 
or something. Nope. Just a chair. Where'd it go? Nothing back here. Um, can I can I go in there? I can. yourself what have you done with them please make me see nightmare circus it's like a good book After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Oh, it's blank. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone-deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum, did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now, lost and afraid. Things never got any better. I'm taking this is supposed to be kind of like his room in a sense. Let's get out of this room. There's something going on in there? Nothing. Shopping list. Remember to dry off? Dry them off? Hmm. Leave me alone! These doors are locked. Hmm. Yeah, she's mentally ill. I shouldn't be walking up like this. Okay. It's like a talking shit on his dad that died on the. Wait a minute. The first one. A little bouncy. Depression. Yeah, she's pretty messed up. Don't really want to read it. I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? Wait a minute. Given to me. Oh no. Things are 
much Hansel and Gretel. No? Same thing. Wait a minute. What? What the? I don't know. I don't like that radio. Take your pills. French is gone. Didn't run away. Dad took me. Marilyn Manson? <laughs> Thank you, William, for the new watch. That's very nice. It has made me a happy carrot. Well, I'm glad the carrot is happy. <laughs> ah. Far away. Still the same stuff. Oh. <coughs> Pictures are changing. I really don't like your song. Tay Bear lost his head. Okay, tickets. Man, things are just getting cray cray. Can I do that before? Um, okay. Then things. Who was that? took me well wait a minute okay fairy carrot <laughs> oh it's already open how nice Show yourself. Oh, it's about to get Brazil. Phone, are you gonna ring? Hi, Teddy Bear, just sitting there. Is that an eyeball? It's an eyeball.
see her try. Okay. What? Wait a minute. Is there anything on the back? Yep. I keep going to the sink. pick. Wait a minute. There's a baby in there. Too, too young to drink there, baby. Way too young. Hey, the radio. Wasn't that where the radio was at? It's gone. Yep, carrot. Screw it out. Back down again. Come on. Can we hurry this alone? Don't make me look at it. Okay, the house is pretty trashed. Alone. Blood. There's the radio. Oh, his hat. See him die? Oh, God. Those aren't baby dolls. Are those? Is that his teddy bear? Is, is that door bleeding? Wait a minute, wait a minute. The walls are bleeding. What the hell? What have you done with him? Watch me rot.
What the hell? This has got to be the last time. Where is my boy? Don't leave me. Okay, this is finally different. Stories are told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. A child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time, before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch, but I am, aren't I? without sparkle. He's gonna look all like possessed when he looks at me. If he looks at me, maybe not. Just image, right? Just an image, right? Right? <laughs> hmm. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. And that's how it ends. Wow. Okay, so... Hmm. That's kind of like what I said in the beginning, the very, very beginning of this. That maybe she just keeps coming back because he's gone, but man, did she kill him? Maybe her depression got so bad, she was just so out of it. And then plus the meds on top and everything else, and she just lost it. 
and the quote unquote demons inside made her just do that. Wow. That was crazy. It's so cray cray. But yeah, so that was the park. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys think. Um, kind of curious. See what your take on this is. Let me know in the comments. But uh, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And let's see if there's just a little bonus scene after these little small thing of credits. <laughs> and then we'll get out of here. I will see you in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.